Hi, in this video we are going to see how to do web scraping using Selenium. So for using Selenium you have to have this Chrome driver and uh, Selenium library. You can do it using pip install Selenium inside this Python. So you have to just give pip install selenium spells like s e l e n i u m so after this you are good to go when you install or when you download the chrome driver you will get this zip file and extract this chrome driver exe to some place uh, because we have to point that path in this python so now let's start the python here So this is actually PowerShell. I am using PowerShell instead of the Python IDE. So usually I do web scrapping using the beautiful soap. But recently I got a uh, um, situation where I need to search for the string in the website and then I need to web scrap. You understand right? I need to for example uh, in Amazon website I need to search for a product and then uh, I need to scrap the product from the from that web page not from the uh, main page so that, that's that's what uh, it's easy to achieve in uh, selenium when compared to beautiful zoom it's actually very easy the installation steps are very simple it will take only five minutes to set up if you have python so let's do that I have already written the code I will show you how it works uh, here is the video which I have referred to write this code but it's different from that what I am presenting here but first you need to do this from selenium and you import web driver now here is the cool thing happens uh, this is the chrome path this is the path where I have extracted this zip file so if you see here I have extracted uh, in C Python 27 Chrome driver. That's what I have written here. Now, driver equal to web driver dot Chrome. So this is actually calling the Chrome driver, and I am telling that it is in this path. So you can also use Firefox or some other browser, but I don't know. But I just do it this in Chrome. So you see I haven't clicked on Chrome icon or I didn't do any shortcut. It just opened right from this command. So this is what the window you get. It says data. So what let's see now I am going to um, enter this web page in that Chrome browser. For that you need to use this get command. Now if you see this page will directly get flipkart. Let me do one thing. Let me do the screen side by side. You may feel I am doing this all by myself. Okay. Now my, my motto here is to um, input the text in this search form. So what will I do is see uh, I am going to use this find element by x path and then uh, point to this x path so let's find the x path of this search bar so usually the x path of the search bar will be something which starts with input uh, which I have seen in many websites so you can directly says, uh, right click inspect and copy the x path of input and here driver dot find underscore element underscore by underscore x path so another thing you have to notice is I will give three quotes followed by this x path and another three quotes okay that's what I have given here 
uh, this click actually will click on that link but I don't want to click I want I need to do this send keys I need to uh, write something on the search bar so I need to assign it to a variable um, let's say search equal to so this this variable search contains the location of the search bar now I need to send the text so this is the command to send input dot no no it's for that tutorial I need to give search dot send keys let's say we can give adidas now see now uh, we need to submit the search so by default uh, it has this option submit all you have to do is search dot submit you see here it will it has already submitted you can see the chrome browser is loading that's guys that all that's all i have now i will do more video on this to extract um, the data which we can't do in beautiful soup this is actually an awesome tool i haven't known this about this before thanks guys thanks for watching this video